Alright, so today we're going to learn how to collect information about people over your network, such as passwords, usernames, um, logons for emails, you name it pretty much. Alright, so you're going to need K-Enable, at least. You could use Wireshark to get your IPs, maybe. You could use uh, Command Prompt, which is good as well. Old Trusty Command Prompt. You could use ZenMap to find ports, whatever. Okay, but we're just going to use K-Enable today. Alright, so start it up. You can download it, oxidize it, obviously. Um, if you want to, you can configure if you haven't done that before. Okay, you need to make sure you're on a wireless, I mean, you're not on a wireless adapter, you're on a Ethernet adapter because this specific WinPCAP Win version does not support wireless adapters. Alright, and we're going to use an AP, APR attack today, so. And uh, you could use the spoofed IP and MAC address, but only if you know that you have at least three people in your network. Because if you don't, then you won't. You have to have two hosts. I mean, two people to be able to uh, perform this attack. All right. And so we're just gonna use the real IP and MAC address because there's only two people in my network that I know of. All right. And this is all good so far. So just to leave it alone. Okay. Now you're gonna go over to Sniffer. Let's Get rid of these people first. Make sure these are on. Scan for MAC address. Okay. And you're gonna. This is a Han High Precision Industries company motherboard, obviously, so that's the UI fingerprint means. And uh, you can resolve their host name, I suppose, if you want to. It's just their username or their uh, PC's name. Um. Yeah, and this one I think is error box. I don't know, not sure, but that's all you need to know. And um, okay, this person probably has a Dell, I bet, because that is ship motherboard. That is a Japanese cheap motherboard, obviously. Okay, so you're gonna go over to APR. You're gonna let's get rid of this person first. Okay, turn on that. Click in here. Make sure this is on. This is the person you're going to be attacking, 10.004. And your IP address is going to be different, obviously, because everybody's is different. Um, and this is the person you're attacking. This is the person that, this is your IP address. And what you're basically doing is disguising yourself or masquerading around the network as this person's firewall so that any information that they put it in their computer or website that, that goes through their firewall you'll be able to receive it on your computer because it thinks you're the firewall which is kinda funny which is okay so that's what we're gonna do and after you click that um, should just wait for a second
Alright, it would appear as though my computer, or not my computer, but uh, my network has went into D or DOS, which is because of this, and uh, that's simply because my internet's slow. I kind of have slow internet, so this can ha this happens if you're trying to do this on slow internet, but sometimes it doesn't if you get lucky. But in my case, it unfortunately does. I've done this before, but not on my own internet, which is kind of weird to do it on your own, but whatever you want to do. And when it is successful, what will happen is that you'll see, uh, it'll, it'll come down here and it'll say uh, half routing, and then it'll say full routing. And then you should be able to go over to passwords, and you'll see these being incre incremented. And that's uh, according to how many FTP timestamps you're getting. And uh, you'll see their username, their password over here. But the username and password, when you first see it, won't be fully developed. It won't be the actual t password you can go and type into their account or whatever, what have you. Um, you'll have to wait for like 20 minutes to, make sh to uh, collect enough information to be able to crack it which is fairly simple once you get enough information and then you'll be able to use all their uh, information to do whatever the freak you want with them pretty much you can use their email which is the pop three that would be yahoo gmail um, outlook i think use pop three maybe i think depends on what your email is using in outlook um, this is just your internet. You get your YouTube password, all those things. And this would be your online database, such as maybe um, uh, Craigslist, those kind of things. Alright, so. And this is Outlook, obviously. <laughs> but you could also get it through Pop3 because Pop3, is, if you have your internet, I mean your email allocated to use. Pop3 in your Outlook account, you'd be able to get it here and here as well. So that's that. And thanks for watching, guys. Uh, <laughs> I'm serious, dude. What do y'all think of that?